Hey, how you doing? We're sitting here in a campground. And we made it after driving on I-10 all afternoon long through a dust storm, after another dust storm, after another dust storm. So we're still picking tumbleweeds out of our hair. But I wanted to talk about toilets. Toilets. <laughs> because it's an interesting subject and I've been asked, what do we do when we're traveling in the van about toilets? So I'm going to give you a run through. The first thing I want to say is that there are a lot of wonderful options. You can look on Amazon and look for collapsible toilets. You can see compostable toilets. You can see toilets that you build into the van and stow away and pull out. And I thought about every single one of those options, but didn't do any of them. I figured that the way we travel, it we're always around services, civilization, most times. So there's always a toilet usually nearby that we have access to. Sometimes there's not, or sometimes we're parked somewhere and it's really cold, windy, rainy, nasty outside, and we don't want to leave the van if we don't have to. So here's what we do for that. The first thing we do when we're camping at night, we move the passenger seat completely forward The seat portion and the back portion. That way we have the most space back here that we can possibly get. Look at all that space. Awesome. Next thing we do is we get out our handy little big and collapsible, I don't need this, big and collapsible crate. The crate's really cool because it has a zillion uses. And one thing it does is it creates this sort of box, this structure for our toilet. We also roll with one of these buckets. They're collapsible. You've seen them around. And they're awesome because they store really easily, of course. And you can make them into a bucket. So, between the crate and the bucket. They fit together like this. And it gives you a little spot to sort of sit over. It's got some structure, so you're not, you won't, you won't want to put all your weight on it, but you definitely won't just collapse the bucket beneath you when you're using it. And then, instead of kitty litter or mulch or any of that crap, I decided it's not going to work. So, <laughs> some of these little guys, they're just these little bags and they're filled with something uh what are they filled with it doesn't say something in there that turns to a gel after you use it so it really it actually it works really great believe it or not uh, once you're done with the little bag it's got a zip on the top and it gives you another little bag to throw that in and then you can put it in your trash and wait until overnight and dispose of it and it's it doesn't smell or anything it's really good so that's what we're using and we have a whole bunch of these i think we got like two dozen just in case we're going to be caught in a pinch but we haven't used that many because like i said we're normally near some facilities and even at night it's really easy uh, but just for when we're stuck and we just don't want to leave the van we just set our little crate and our bucket right here behind the front seat. There you go. And we use a little, you know, those mini, mini bags. So there you go. Toilet done easy. You don't need to carry around a big bucket with you. You're good to go. Hope that helps.